back again, back again. Now don't worry, in today's video I am going to try to keep my hands from moving around as much since a lot of you find it weird that I talk with my hands. Now I've been trying a few different things and just nothing seems to be working. So I think what I'm going to end up having to do is handcuff myself to myself, try to keep things under control. Now today we are taking a look at a brand new product from Big Slick, their clay pomade. And you know I love me a good clay, so I am definitely excited about taking a look at this one. Man, this sucks. I am not doing this. Cut to intro. I'm going to get my hands back. What is happening, guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. I don't think this whole taming of my arms thing is going to work out, so I'm very sorry if that drives some of you nuts, but this is just how I am. I've always talked with my hands, and I think it's just a piece of me that you're going to have to learn to love. Today, though, I got a cool video lined up for you. We're going to take a look at the newest release from the awesome folks over at Big Slick. Last we heard from them, they were releasing their gel-type water-based pomade, and that was honestly one of the best. To this day, I still compare gel types to that product when I'm figuring figuring out how good they are. When they decided to jump on the clay wagon, of course I was all over it. I have been loving the community's interest in clays, and I know you guys love clays too, so I knew this was a no-brainer. We had to look into it. So let's head on over to the desk and get a closer look. Coming across the desk today is the new clay pomade from Big Slick. Coming from a line that's done great things with both oil and water-based pomades, I jumped at the chance to get a look at what they would do with a clay. According to the brewer, the Big Slick Clay Pomade is an oil-based clay pomade that is perfect for neat and clean or loose textured styles. It also remains restylable all day with a medium to firm hold and a matte finish. The scent here is shown as tobacco, aged leather, and vanilla, and it comes in a 3.4 ounce tin. The design on the jar is the same as what we've seen from Big Slick in the past with the silver tin and the big bold label. Looking inside the jar, we're met with a lightly tinted, soft looking pomade as imagined being it's made with clay. Scooping it out though is much lighter and creamier than I imagined and spreading it into the hand is done with so much ease. It breaks down almost instantly ready for styling. I do have to take note here though that there isn't much tack or stickiness within the breakdown of the product. Now because of that lack of stickiness, I'm going to use it on dry hair today. Usually the rule of thumb with oil-based products is damp hair, but being as this is much lighter and less waxy than most pomades, and being as it's made for texture, I felt dry hair was more appropriate. So we're starting here with clean hair that we're blow drying until fully dry. As soon as it enters my hair, I can definitely feel that slickness. It goes through my hair so easily and with about two scoops, I feel my hair is ready for styling. Using a comb is also very easy and also quite nice here as it slides and sculpts its way through making a nice easy style. Right now we can see there's a healthy shine visible and while I think there's enough hold there that I am able to style with it, there's not a ton of hold present. So right away I can tell it's either going to lighten up and reveal that texture or remain light in the hair for the duration of the day. So now that we've got our style, the next step is to see how long it lasted throughout the day. So of course I prepared you guys up some B-roll to get a look at what we're working with for the rest of the day as I tested this clay. So what we see here is overall it's holding up really nice and some has evaporated revealing some texture, but the finish has overall stayed about the same. The restyling game here though is really nice. It combs right back into place with no trouble. Being as this was oil based, I wanted to also look at the next day styling this product offered. This is pure second day hair. I didn't add any hair as I wanted to just see how it would work by itself. And I think it did work pretty decently. It was definitely combable and still had enough hold to take us out of bedhead realm. But obviously to get a decent style, you would need to add probably about one scoop just to get you back to the level you'd want to be at. The second day styling here is a little different than some oil based pomades being as it's not waxy 
and not super sticky. So again, to get back to that level we had on day one, you would just need to add a little bit more. Not as much as we used on day one, which was two scoops, but just a little bit more, probably one, maybe even a smaller one scoop. As far as the washout and actually getting it out of your hair, I know some of you struggle with oil-based pomades and think they're supposed to just rinse right out of your hair like water-based products, but that's not actually how it goes with oil-based products and it's perfectly normal. This product is a little bit both the same and different from oil-based products though. With water, I didn't feel like a lot of it came out at all, which is what I was expecting. What I did find though was that it really responded well to the conditioner trick. For those that may not know what I'm talking about, it's when you have oil-based that you need to wash out of your hair, you just throw some conditioner in for like five minutes or so, and then you rinse it out and do a run through with shampoo. This technique works really well and actually doing that pulled this right out of my hair. As far as my thoughts go on this clay, I think it's an excellent styler. It works really well on the hair. It's so easy to sculpt and style with, and it has pretty good endurance. I do think though that the hold is a little on the lighter side. So if that's what you're into, this will work really well for you. But if you're one of those people that needs more hold to style, then this is probably not gonna be a good fit for you. The texture and the matte finish on it, I think probably could have been a little better as well. I did see a little bit of texture in there as the day progressed, but not a whole lot. And for my hair, at least, I thought it always kind of maintained a low or natural shine to it and not so much of a matte finish. Overall though, I think some of you are really going to like this. And as usual, I will leave that up to you to decide if this looks like something you want to pick up and try out. I do think this is really going to speak to you pomade users that really like lighter holding and slick products. Big Slick did provide me with a coupon code and that will be in the description for you guys to check out if you want to do that. Also make sure you check the description for the channel's coupon codes. I found that on some occasions my channel's codes are actually a little bit higher than others that have been floating around lately. So check it out and see if you can get yourself some extra savings. I do also want to thank all of you new subscribers that have recently joined us here on the channel. I really appreciate that. I hope to interact with some of you guys in the comment section down below there. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, make sure you go ahead and do that. And while you're at it, go ahead and smash that like button for me as well. And that is it for today's episode. I want to thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. I will, of course, be back with you guys again very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.